What's up guys, my name is Eli Clark. I'm a sports videographer and a creative at App State. And today in this video, I'm just gonna show y'all my color grading workflow, workflow within DaVinci Resolve. And I actually made a previous video on this that was actually in Premiere Pro. And I've actually switched to doing color in DaVinci. I've not actually, I'm yet to switch from DaVinci or from Premiere to DaVinci for actually editing my videos. But color grading in DaVinci is just another like step above Premiere. Like I'm so glad I did it. I was hesitant at first, but I really recommend it. It's free. I'm actually uh, still coloring on the free version. So if you want to download it and just follow along, um, I would definitely recommend it. Now in my last video, I mentioned that I had dropped a LUT pack for basketball and I'm just excited to announce that I've actually made a version two of that LUT pack. So it has some updated LUTs that I've actually made um, on my own in DaVinci and I use them every single day. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the LUTs to best suit your video. And you can actually go buy that LUT pack right now. The link will be in the description and I think it's $25. So if you guys wanna go purchase that, it will help out the channel a lot and it will make your videos look a lot better. So go ahead and go purchase that. And if you've already bought the V1 LUT pack, you can DM me on Instagram. My Instagram will be right here and the link will also be in the description. And then just DM me, uh, show me proof that you bought the V1 LUT pack and I will give you a discount 50% off on the V2 LUT pack as well. So yeah, if you want to bundle those together, go ahead and buy the V1, DM me on Instagram and go ahead and get the V2 as well. You can get them both for like $35, something like that. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and hop straight into DaVinci and I'm going to show you guys first how to color with my LUTs and then second how to color grade just from scratch with no LUTs. So in DaVinci, um, it actually uses nodes. So nodes are kind of like layers in Premiere. Um, you'll see what I mean in a minute. But to make a node, you just want to hit option S to make a node. Now down here, you'll see um, this is probably what it comes with when you open it. So your gain is kind of like your highlights. Um, and so if you go over here, you can actually switch to highlights, shadows, and midtones. But I like using the gain and the lift. Um, I also use these sometimes, it just kind of depends um, on the day. And then your offset is basically your exposure over your whole video. So as I go through this video, I'll kind of explain that more, but we're gonna go ahead and switch to the highlights, shadows, and offset. And you're gonna hit option S um, to make nodes. Now you only need two nodes when you're using my LUT and I'm gonna show you why. So we're gonna go over to color space transform. You don't have to have any like uh, Rec 709 conversion LUT when you're working in DaVinci because they have their own built-in color space transform. So I shot in a Sony camera, so I'm gonna go, my input color space will be S game at three Cine, and then my input gamma will be Sony S-Log3. And then as you can see, that already uh, gives my image like a more contrasty look. Now my white balance is way off here, and the LUTs that I actually have designed are made Assuming that you shot it like at the perfect exposure and the perfect white balance, which usually let's be honest is not going to happen. So all you're going to want to do is go back to this node right here and this is where you're going to correct that. So you're going to go down here to this little dropper right here, select your jersey, somewhere white on your jersey and that will fix your white balance as you see right there. So that's before and that's after. My white balance is close to perfect now. but you can see my exposure is still a little off. So I'm just gonna go over to my offset, which is my exposure over my whole image, and I'm gonna raise that. Now you can see on your waveforms right here, if you can't see your waveforms, just click on this little icon, and then you can select waveform right here from this drop down. And that looks pretty close. You don't need to mess with your highlights or shadows because that's all baked into the LUT. So yeah, my waveform is pretty evenly spread out right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go back to this color space transform node and we're gonna delete that. Now the reason we delete that is because in the LUT it already has the color space transform built into it. So it will just look all wonky if you don't delete it. So now we'll make another node and this node will actually be for the LUT. So go up here to LUTs and if you don't know how to import LUTs into DaVinci, there's tons of videos on YouTube, just go look them up. But you can see my pack right here, cinematic basketball LUTs. <clears throat> and we're gonna go down to the log picture profiles and let's just use LUT1 uh, for this tutorial sake. So you can see I dropped that on there and my image is already looking like very usable. You can use this almost on any clip. So if you wanna make some changes, all you would have to do is make another node. You could up the saturation, you could 
bring the highlights to blue, whatever you want to do. Um, it's really just up to you, but you can just drag and drop the LUDs after you correct your white balance and exposure. That's the most important part, most, most important part, sorry. Uh, because if you don't correct your white balance and exposure, the LUDs just not going to look good. Um, so yeah, perfect exposure, perfect white balance, and then apply the LUT. So that's basically my whole workflow for doing LUTs. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty easy. That's why you buy the pack. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and hop into how to, how I actually color grade without using LUTs. So I'm going to go ahead and stay on the same clip. I have other clips that I'll show you in a minute. And we're just going to go option S five times to make five nodes, obviously. We're going to go to node label and I'm just going to label my nodes so that I can keep everything organized. I'm going to make this sharpening. We're going to call this grade. We're going to call this exposure. And WB for white balance. So first thing you want to do is the same thing we did with the LUT. You're going to go down to whatever camera you use. So I use a Sony camera. So I'll go to S game at three cine and I shot in S log three. Where's that right there? Okay. So I'm going to fix my white balance again, same way, go to the dropper, select the Jersey, fix that white balance. And then that's all I'm going to do on this node. So you can see my white balance is fixed and then I'm going to hop over to my exposure node. So Exposure, I'm going to go to my waveform right here and you want the up here is the highlights. So all the way at the top is the highlights. If it's hitting the top, that means it's clipping like you can't get those back. And if it's hitting the bottom, it means like it's just pure black. So pure white, pure black. And we're going to raise. Actually, first thing I like to do is go into the curves. So you can click on these three dots right here and hit editable splines, which is what I like to do. So when I click on this, it gives me like a little handle right here so I can raise my highlights to about right there and I can lower my shadows just to give it a little more contrast. So now I have this little S curve that I always like to put no matter what clip. And then I can go over here and just raise my shadows a little bit to give it that more cinematic look because usually in cinematic grades the shadows are um, raised a little bit. And I'm also going to raise my highlights just a tad. That looks pretty good. So yeah, here's before we changed our exposure and here's after. So that looks good. Now we're going to head over to grade. Now this is the fun part. So you can actually make a layer node by hitting option L. So this will make a node underneath it. So anything I change on this node will not affect the top or anything I change on this top node will not affect what I change on this layer node. So on this layer node, I like to go over here to this little dropper right here. And this is your qualifier. So if you just select the skin tones, you can hit shift H to see your selection and you're just going to like kind of move this just to keep your skin tones selected. So we have that like this and then we're going to have the denoise to make it kind of softer. And then I'm going to go to clean black right here. So this way there's no like hard edges or anything. I'm going to hit shift H and then go to my vector scope. Now for the vector scope, you have this line right here, which is your skin tones. And then you're gonna go to hue and you kind of want this to be like right on that line. So if I change my hue, you can see it's like going right on this skin tone line right here. And then my skin tones look pretty good. So if I go up here to this node and change anything, so saturation, anything you can see it's not affecting my skin tones because I have them on this layer node. So let me change this to 50 and then I'm gonna go back down to my skin tones. So I'm gonna bring my highlights up on my skin tones just a little bit, bring my shadows down just a tad. And then that looks pretty good. I think maybe bring the skin tones just a little bit more over. That looks good. See, now we have it right on the line and the skin tones are looking really good. So now I'll go up to my grade and this is where I can change everything else. So I'm going to bring my highlights um, down to over to teal a little bit just to give a little bit of teal on the highlights and the jersey and stuff like that. And then I'm going to bring my shadow to, towards teal a little bit. And I'm actually going to bring a little more. 
maybe more towards blue. And then you can see up here in the shadows how it's starting to kind of get blue, which I really like for uh, my grades. Now the other thing I like to do is go over here to this. Now this is the color warper. And I like to go to 12 points just so you have more like information to work with and uh, points. So then I'm gonna select the yellows and the chairs right here and push them like more kind of towards orange. So that looks good to me. And then your offset, you can like kind of change the color of the whole image, but I'm not gonna really touch my offset right now. I think that looks pretty good. You can see before and after the grade. Subtle changes in the highlights, a little more saturation in the ball and the yellow seeds over here. Um, and we also desaturated the court um, a little bit. So I'm just gonna pump a little bit more saturation into the image as a whole. Obviously not affecting the skin tones. And then that looks pretty good. So last thing I like to do is go to sharpening. Now if you go over here to this little water drop or whatever it is, it's actually under blur you'll see radius. So if you bring your radius up, it blurs the image. And if you bring it down, it makes it very sharp. So you don't want it like that and you don't want it like that. So you want to kind of find a sweet spot in the middle, kind of just depending on yours. I've found like 45 to 47 works good for me. So we're going to put this at 46 and you might not be able to see through YouTube, but this it's my image is a lot sharper and makes you look like you shot the video in like 8k which obviously you want it to be in the highest quality that you can so yeah if you turn everything off this is straight out of camera s log 3 and this is after it's graded looks really good in my opinion um but obviously you don't have to follow exactly how i did it this is kind of just a base for you to start grading in davinci but yeah that's how i do it by hand now Here's another one I also did by hand. I like this grade a lot. And yeah, I mean, there's really no right or wrong way to do it. Um, as long as you know what you're doing, which is the goal of this video. So if you do want to use my LUTs to color your videos, quick, easy way, you can go get those in the description. $25 um, supports the channel so, so I can make more videos. I want to be really consistent in, on YouTube in 2024. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I appreciate y'all watching the video. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments. I will do my best to respond to all of them. Or you can DM me on Instagram. My Instagram link will also be uh, in the description. So yeah, appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see y'all in the next one.